So we're gonna do some salt mackerel. We're gonna cut it up and um, do it with some tomato, some okra, and those lovely stuff. All right, so here it is. We boil the fish. So now we're gonna just throw off the water and you know, clean it up, cut the, take the bones out, stuff like that. So what I'm doing is adding pieces of the fish that I just cleaned up to this water right here. What I will do is give the food that we're going to put in it a nice flavor as well makes it, you know, make the food nice and pretty. So it won't have any stain marks and all that pro tip. Alright, with that being said, we can now cover back the pot and let it boil up a bit. Okay, so now what I'm doing is preparing the okras and how I'll be preparing them I'll just be cutting them into quarters and I want them big like this for you know what I'm going for so my slices of okra is going to look like this now these will not be overcooked so I will do the stir fry with the salt mackerel and the seasonings first and get that to a nice little level and then I'll just add in these okras and just let the steam cook it so these okras will come out actually hard which is the effect that I'm going for. All right, so now it's time to light the fire and get some oil in the pot. Just add some oil. Almost forgot to add my garlic, but there you go. So garlic is in it. I'm gonna add some black pepper, a little bit of black pepper for flavor. I have a little bit of pimento in there already. I do not need to add salt because the meat is perfect as it is. So it's already salted just enough. All right, so just adding a little bit of black pepper for flavor in my pot. Yeah, that was a trick. And so now the next obvious step is to stir. All right, so I'm gonna get that done properly now. So I'm gonna put the camera back on the tripod so I can use both hands. Okay, so I almost forgot my sweet pepper as well. I'll just cut that up in it. No 
uplifting pepper. Wow, you should be here to smell what I am smelling. A lovely aroma when all these spices combine. Man, it's an awesome smell. Mmm. Good for the taste buds. Totally turns them on. Let me now find my apparatus to hold the pots and look stirring the seasonings. Look at that lovely combination. Wow, you should be smelling this right now. Alright, so I'll just stir fry this for a bit more. Then I might put a little bit of water in it and then I'll add the okra and probably turn off the pot two minutes after I put in the okra so the okra is remain hard. Alright friends, so it is cooking up nicely, it's coming along nicely. What that does is it allows the seasonings to you know release their flavor more into the pot, the rest of the food. Soften them up just a little bit. Alright, that's looking good. It is all according to preference. I tend to like my seasonings hard, as in not overcooked. So even though these bell peppers or sweet pepper are not fully soft, I'll eat them crunchy just like that. So for me it's good right here, I can just add the okra and I can turn off the pot right here. So as you can see, I really added no water. I'm just add maybe a little. You don't have to add water, you can just keep it this way and just use the natural moisture of what the mix has done here. This is it, it's probably like a few teaspoons of water. Just there. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I am doing food. Yeah, remember we boiled up our nice yam and dumpling and all that stuff. So I want a little bit of a gravy. Right, that's the only reason, but you don't need to add any water to this mix. All right, so I believe the stage is set now for me. I'm just gonna let that sit just for a little bit and then I add in the okra. So I'm gonna let this sit now with the fire. The flame is still on, it's on low fire. I'm gonna leave this now for probably about two minutes and then turn it off and then I can serve out like three to five minutes after that. And then I come back right there and show you what we have. All right, so here we have it. See the food come out nice and pretty. No black stain marks or anything like that. Now it's time to look at what we have here with the okra and all that stuff. I have a spoon and fork here to help me. Mm, look at that, wow. Again, some people may like their okra. It's very soft. I'm not really a fan of that. So this is a type of texture and softness that I'm going for. Wow, it's looking good, it's looking really good. And that's a nice healthy quarantine dinner right there for you. So let's have a nice look at that. Lovely dinner, wow. Wow, let's look at that. Mm. Banana. Yum. I'm enjoying this man. It's really good, mate. Yes, mate. <laughs> it's really good.